the gates that way. What are you waiting on, Maya? Sarah, go on. Today's witnesses represent oil companies that claimed more than $36 billion in profits. $120 a barrel. There she is. <laughs> we call it our new neighbor, neighbor 907. We have 70 acres here, and I can't convince them that they need to drill somewhere besides 200 feet from our house. The boom is happening all over the country. There's oil and gas operations in 32 states right now, but the Rocky Mountain states are really seeing the vast majority of the expansion. This will be the gate to enter into my property. The oil company had me completely locked out. A split estate situation is when somebody who owns the surface of their land does not own the resources that are underneath their land. Whoever owns the surface probably can't control what happens on their own property. You feel so helpless, you know. My great-grandfather is buried here. They totally wiped out the cemetery. We have a very large emphasis about being a good neighbor, about doing the things that you would do in your neighborhood with your next door neighbor. We were in bed actually sleeping, and then our son called. He said that the well was on fire. See all them bubbles in that water up there, Bob? Jesus, yeah. That's all gas coming up there. Yeah, let's go ahead and light it. Oh, yeah, it burned. They don't tell you everything that's in a product. You may only get 5% of what's in that product and the rest of it is proprietary or they just don't give it. Every single fracking company, they sell that theirs is the best product. It would be like um, divulging why your chocolate is better than somebody else's chocolate because you have those ingredients. Well, it's unbelievable that someone says toxic. That stuff in the pit is not hazardous and not toxic. I have fracking fluid taken right out of a fracking truck. I've had it in my mouth, I've tasted it, and I'm just fine. Well around 50% of the chemicals cause such things as kidney damage, cardiovascular problems. This is before any problems, uh, before we lived in Rifle. And then everything changed. There's no question that people are getting sick from oil and gas exploration throughout the United States. And when you ask them what their symptoms are, it's the same in one area as it is in another area. Today, we have close to 5,000 wells that have been drilled. That's just in the northwestern area. And if you look down the road uh, 15 years and you start contemplating 60,000 wells, what does that do 